Today, I'm going to show you how to create rat tonic like Harry, Ron, and Hermione got for Scabbers from the Magical Menagerie. The things we'll need to create our rat tonic is one glass bottle. Now, in the book, it is described as being a small red glass bottle that was small enough to fit inside of a pocket. Now, I will tell you, it took several shopping trips to find a small red glass bottle. I've been looking for one for months. And I did finally find this one on an antique shopping haul I did not that long ago, but they are very hard to come by, and it's not even real red glass. You could find every other color under the sun in small glass bottles, but red, for whatever reason, even the fake red is really hard to find. I was able to find several large bottles that were red, but when it came to small ones, it was a different story. So if you can't find a red glass bottle, I'm going to show you how to make one. So I'm going to also show you how to t transform this small clear glass bottle to a red one. To do that, we are going to use some matte finish Mod Podge as well as some red food coloring. It doesn't matter if it's liquid or gel. We are going to need a container to mix it up in as well as a container to catch it. We're going to use a cooking skewer and we're going to use just a tiny bit of water. To do it, I'm going to be using some gloves. And then we're going to fill our bottle with some rubbing alcohol and some gold mica powder. However, you could also use distilled water with a tiny drop of glycerin or you could leave it empty. And then we're going to use some purple hot glue to finish the top of our bottle. You will need some aluminum foil. I'm going to be using the nonstick kind. And you're going to need an oven set at the lowest setting. And finally, we will need our label printed on sticker paper. And the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. Would you like a chance to win one of my potion bottles? Then consider supporting me over on Patreon. All of my patrons have a chance to win a monthly potion. Link is in the description down below. Okay, so like I said, if you're able to find a red glass bottle, by all means, use it, and you can just skip ahead to how we're going to fill and embellish the bottle. However, like I said, it was not easy to find this, especially in a smaller size. So I'm gonna show you how we are going to color the bottle. Now, this is not the first time that we have colored a bottle like this. We also did it with our Wormswort bottle for our Nightmare Before Christmas Sally potions, and we did it for our Wednesday Adams poison bottle. So we're gonna use the same technique here, but this is gonna be um, red, whereas those were like a brownish green color and a gray. So this one will be a little bit brighter so you guys can see how that works. So we are using a matte finish Mod Podge. When it bakes out in the oven, it ends up being a little bit more of a satin finish. You could definitely use the glossy one for this as well. I know for some of the other ones, I was actually going for more of a matte finish look. So that's why I chose matte, but I had an extra bottle laying around of the matte finish. So that's what we're gonna use today, but you could definitely use the glossy as well. Now I have put a tiny bit of water in here and that's because we're gonna thin out the Mod Podge just a little bit. It makes it easier to pour and put on when it's really thick. It's hard to get a good even coverage without having like big gloppy areas that end up having a funky look when it actually bakes out. The beautiful part about this is when you're done, all of the extra Mod Podge that you catch in your container, you can put back into a Mod Podge bottle or a different container and you can save it to be able to color things later down the line. So um, you don't have to just throw away whatever is excess, which is nice. So this is a pretty small bottle, so I don't need a lot. I'm actually coloring a couple of these bottles just so that I have some extras because one will go to one of my patrons for a monthly potion bottle winner. So we're going to add our Mod Podge and I'm gonna add a decent amount in here because like I said, you can always reuse it so I don't mind having more than I need. And I always find when you're doing the pour over method, having more is better than not having enough. So I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm just mixing the water with the Mod Podge to just make sure that that's all mixed up before I actually add my color in. I will put a card up above that will take you to our Worms Wart bottle for the Nightmare Before Christmas potions because I really explain this method really well in there. And I'm gonna kind of just talk about it briefly and just do it in a time lapse and you guys will be able to see how this goes. Okay, just gonna finish this bottle off so that when it's done, I'll be able to put any excess right back into that bottle. So now we're going to add our coloring. 
Keep in mind that Mod Podge dries clear. It also bakes out clear when we put it in the oven. So it's not going to be a bright red. It's going to be kind of a pinky red color, but when we bake it, it will bake darker than what it appears in Mod Podge form. Now I do want this to be a nice rich red, so I will make sure that it is a dark enough color that I feel like we'll get that nice red color and not a pink. But honestly, with red glass, you don't ever really get a fully deep red most of the time. It's, it's all kind of got a little bit of like a pinky or orangey hue to it. So if it comes out a little bit more orange or a little bit more pink, I'm okay with it. But I, I would like it to be a nice red. So right now we've got kind of a pretty good red color. I have a feeling that this will bake out and look very similar to this bottle when it's done. Okay, so to do this, as you can see, I'm wearing my gloves, and that's because I don't want to get red food coloring all over my hands. Um, it does wash off, obviously, but it's just one less thing to have to worry about. Now, the opening to this bottle is much smaller than some of the past bottles I've done. So we are going to put it on a cooking skewer and do the pour over that way. And that's just so then that way we can actually pour everything over because we can't fit our finger in there. So I'm going to take the spoon out and I'm just gonna put that in the bottom of our container. And we're going to coat our bottle. Now, once you get your whole bottle coated, I let it sit and drip any of that massive excess off. And then we're gonna let it sit on our foil for 10 minutes to let all the excess come off. So then that way we have a nice, thin coating that will bake out evenly in the oven. Okay, it's now been about 10 minutes. These have sit, and as you can see, some excess has dripped off of these. I'm going to put them in my oven on a cookie sheet that is lined with either parchment paper or foil, but I prefer foil. And you're gonna put it in the oven with the oven off so that the oven is cold. Then you're gonna set the temperature to the lowest temperature that your oven will go, and you're gonna let it preheat in there with the bottles. And it usually takes about 30 minutes or so for the bottles to clear out. You'll actually see it turn into the nice translucent color. So if you still see some opaque areas, um, leave it in a little bit longer, but once you see that the whole thing all the way through is our nice translucent color, then turn the oven off and let it cool completely, and then your bottles will be ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in the oven, and we'll come back when they are fully baked out. Now that these are out of the oven and have cooled completely, I'm going to throw a white piece of paper here so you can kind of see the color. So it's uh, a little bit different than the one that I picked up at the antique store, but it's still a good red. So that works really well. And depending on the type of food coloring you use, it may look a little bit lighter. You could always do two coats. So once it dries completely and cools completely, you could definitely put another coat over it. And you may find that that will get you closer to the red color if you feel like it's not as dark. Because I do know that not all food coloring is created equally. So in case yours comes out a little bit lighter, that is an option for you. So now that I have these ready, we're going to go ahead and fill these up. So I am going to put some rubbing alcohol in here. So the reason that we did the Mod Podge on the outside was because we want to fill the inside. If we had done the coloring on the inside of the container, we wouldn't be able to put any liquid in there because it would kind of break the Mod Podge down. It would go back into like a more of an opaque state and get kind of milky and uh, and we don't want that so that's why we did the outside of the bottle most painted glass bottles you will find it's on the outside so then that way when you decide to fill it up it's not going to affect the inside of the bottle Now, if you didn't want to put any liquid in here, you, you wouldn't have to. I just feel like it's cooler if it's got something in there. Plus, by us adding a little bit of this gold mica powder, when we shake it up, it's going to go from the clear red to having this really pretty shimmer that's just going to add a little bit of lightness to it. You're not even necessarily going to see a color change, which is why I didn't do like a drastic color and we're just doing a metallic like a gold or a silver 
anything like that because we just want to see those shimmers in the bottle when we shake it up. But then it'll clear out to the clear again, which will just look red Whoop! when it is sitting there dormant. Okay, I'm going to clean that up quick. Now that I got that cleaned up, we're going to cap these up. And then when they're shaken, we get this really great gold shimmery swirly effect, which I actually think will play really nicely off of the label because it'll kind of make some of that gold tone stand out a little bit when it's shaken up. But like I said, once it sits, it'll settle out to be just the nice clear red. So now we can embellish our bottles. So I'm going to focus on the single little one here that we colored red. So I've got my label printed on sticker paper and I went around the outside edge with a matching marker, which in this case is a purple. And we'll peel the backing paper off. And on this bottle, there's this little like one ounce detail on the one side. So I definitely want to put the label on the opposite side. Okay, I think that looks fairly straight here. So now we've got our rat tonic label on there. And like I said, we're going to do some purple drips on the top. And once we get our purple wax drips, we have a very simple yet vintage vibed rat tonic bottle that I think goes to the style of the Magical Menagerie, as well as the description that's in the book. It was described as being a small red bottle that was able to be fit inside of Hermione's pocket. And I think this is just a nice, easy way for us to be able to make a small red bottle. And it's something that's, you know, not mentioned in the movies, but it's mentioned in the books. And I just, I think it's super fun. So we have the red bottle we made and the red bottle I found. And I think these would just make a really great addition to our potion and prop collection you've made along the way. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much. As most of you know, I have a Patreon account, and every month I give away a free potion bottle to my patrons. Well, I have something special for my patrons for the month of June, July, and August. So in those months, I'm going to be giving away not only a potion bottle, but I'm also going to be doing an additional giveaway for a larger item. So in those months, we're going to do something special. There are going to be larger items that wouldn't normally be something that I would give away for free. So I don't want to give away too much, but for the month of June, it might be something that would have to do with summer and outdoors. And for the month of July, because I plan on doing a Christmas in July theme here on the channel, it may be something to prepare us for the holidays. And in August, it might be something kind of whimsical. So I know that doesn't give too much away, but just know that they are going to be pretty cool prizes. And again, my patrons will have a chance to win not only the normal monthly potion bottle, but they will also have a chance to win a separate giveaway for the larger item. So how Patreon works is I have different tiers. So in those different tiers, they cost different amounts, everything from $3 all the way up to 100 and each different tier gives you a different amount of entries. Those entries will be the same amount you get put in for for a potion bottle each month as they will be for these bigger items that we're gonna do for June, July, and August. So for example, my potions novice is a $3 tier and they get one entry. My intermediate potioner gets two entries for a $5 tier. My advanced potion maker gets 
three entries with a $10 tier. My potions expert gets four entries for a $25 tier. My $50 tier is the potions master and they get five entries. And my alchemists that it's a $100 tier, they get six. Now, besides the entries into the free giveaways every month, they also get other items as well. So for my potions novice and intermediate potioner, you get a mention at the end credit of my YouTube videos as well as your entries into the different potions. For my advanced potion makers, you get three entries in as well as a $2 off code for an Etsy item every month. My potions experts not only get four entries in, they get free shipping on my Etsy site. My potions masters get the five entries, the mention at the end of the videos, and they get a shirt designed by me every month. Now my alchemists, I, I'm not going to lie, they get some pretty amazing stuff. Um, yes, it is a $100 tier, but it is like getting a custom cooking and craft chick monthly subscription box, basically. So the alchemist level not only gets the mention at the end of the video and they get six entries into the drawings, they also get a cooking and craft chick sticker. They get an exclusive shirt designed by me, a different one each month, as well as getting all of the labels from that month pre-printed and cut out for them. And then they get to pick a potion bottle from me. If they don't want a potion, they could also get a candle from me or one of my ornaments, or we can discuss different things. But they basically get, like I said, almost like a subscription box from me. So the shirts they get can be a t-shirt, a three-quarter length sleeve shirt, a sweatshirt. I let you pick. I let you pick the color, the size, which style, the whole shebang. And then they get to pick their potion bottle as well as getting the cut labels. So for example, one of my alchemists in February, I made all of the witchy valentines and they got a cut out version of all of those. And then they got to pick their potion bottle. Not to mention that you get six entries into my giveaways, which means sometimes you win the potion bottle we made that month too. So you can come out of this with two potion bottles, a shirt, printed labels, and a sticker that is exclusive every month. So lots of fun things coming. Any support I get, I really do appreciate. All it does is help me to make more crafts like this for you guys. So then that way I can put out more content and hopefully one day maybe be able to quit my muggle job so that I can devote myself to you guys completely. So if you're interested in supporting me, there is a link in the description down below. I'll also put a card up above and get excited for June, July, and August because the giveaways are going to be only for my patrons and I promise they are worth it. And don't worry, if you're not able to become a patron, I completely understand. I will be doing a YouTube and Instagram giveaway in September for all of you for the support that you do give me here on this channel as well as on my other social media platforms. So if you can't become a patron, don't worry, I will have something special for you as well. Mm -hmm.